So here we are. I've got Derek right here. And so I go into some kind of throw. Let's say I, I knock him down with a soda right here. Now, from that Osoda knockdown, I can go straight into the hole, of course. But let's say he's rolling away from me. I didn't get a chance for Osycomi. He's rolling away. This is the critical moment right here. Getting this underhook. The moment I throw, he's rolling away. I'm going for this underhook. You notice my elbow is down in his back, and I'm hugging this elbow into my chest. My chest limits his movement, okay? I'm using my chest like a third arm right here. From this position, I'm just going around front right here and clamping on his head, kneeling down, pulling this elbow in. He may be grabbing something. So you grab a belt or can I rip it this way first and then back the other way, okay? You all know this, right? Known as the Kimura, right? But <clears throat> where so many people lose it, you throw a guy, you don't get a complete score, all right? You get a partial score. He's rolling away. I, right away, I get into this underhook. Now, you could do Juji Gatami, and I see some of you heavier guys practicing Juji Gatami, but I doubt that it's what it's, uh, I doubt that's the technique you would normally gravitate to in contest. You're, you're just not built as well for it, all right? And, but this is made for all weights. The main key is not to have your elbow up because he can pull me over top right here. Okay? So let's just go the other way. Yeah, here, so. Okay? So I just threw there and right away I get on that other hook. Elbow in his back right here. Chest limits his movement. Come around front, rip away first. This way and then back. Okay? If you don't get anything, stay with it. Right here. Keep rotating. So like that. Very simple hold. But if you don't practice standing and ground together these transitions, you may know this stuff. But whenever you throw, there's always going to be that hesitation and you're going to lose it. I mean, if you're not right on it, I mean, you might as well go get a drink of water and come back and start again. Because he's gone. Alright? So here we go. Let's practice it. Very gently, you notice I'm gently rolling down. He rolls away this time. Get that underhook first thing. Okay, here we go. I, I uh, got my partner here. I threw him down, he's rolling away. This first. See, this is first. If I don't have this, I don't have anything. Some of you are jumping around here without having this, and now you're fishing for it. It's too late. So, you notice, the moment I threw him, I got this. I don't want to throw him again, so you see, but I, I threw him down, I got this first. I'm hugging it into my chest. I'm not worried about the lock yet. There's other things I can do, but I'm coming around. Now, I kneel on his head. I yank this away from him, and then back the other one. Grab, if I don't get it, I start transitioning to here, and I don't care. How flexible he is at that point, I'm going to, he can't do a 360 with this elbow and shoulder, right? But get that underhook first. Everything we're working off of here, when he rolls away, is predicated on that underhook. That's what I'm talking about. We're, I know you know this technique, you know. It's not so much the uh, Kimura or the Ben Armlock that we're talking about. I'm talking about the transition between the knockdown and the technique. That's got to be smooth. And you got to have that underhook or he's rolling over, possibly getting back up. All right, here we go. Let's do it again, folks. First, elbow in his back. See where your elbow is? If he keeps rolling, he's going to pull you over the top or you're going to lose it. But with this elbow, let me in there for one second. He did a nice takedown and all. But this is first. Look where my elbow is. Go ahead and roll there. Yeah, roll, roll, roll. Look where my elbow is. But if it's up here, he's rolling me. That's, that's critical. That's the difference between stopping it and getting a tap out, uh, getting a submission, or losing, you know, getting reversed. Right there, okay? 
again, just to put your elbow down like that to stop this, this whole throw. One more time. Right arm front, under the elbow on his back first. Okay, good. I want you to emphasize that before you even start. Now we may abbreviate it, but right now, make sure you got that elbow down in his back and you're hugging it all into your chest. You're using your chest like a third arm to limit his elbow. He won't be able to wiggle out if you pull it right into your sternum. It's going to limit that wiggle worming of his arm. Okay? Let's do it. Hey, listen up. Mike's got a good question about this key lock situation. I'm just wondering if there's a good time when you're in that position to, instead of grabbing the apron or the gi, to grab the wrist with that, with that near, near hand. I suppose you could. You know, I do a lot of no key grappling, so yeah. You know, when you don't have a game, you gravitate towards different handles. Absolutely. Can you guys show what, what you're talking about so we can see, see everybody get a visual? Yeah. I think that's a great comment, actually. I think I know he's talking about using the right hand to grab the wrist. Right here instead of, uh, instead of being here, it's going to grab this wrist. Well, sure. The wrist right. control as opposed to here. Yeah, there's no hard and fast rule about it. I feel like I get a lot of leverage when I'm there, to drive it around or to crank it up, and to switch the key lock with it. Well, you know, let's yeah, it's basically just near wrist them. That's what you're doing. Yeah. Go face down. You know, come on up on all fours. All fours. But, you know, oftentimes you come under here and you get a double wrist control. You know, you notice my hips are down so I don't get, he doesn't clamp and roll me. But I grab both hands on the wrist. Then as I come around, I spin around the guy's body to here. I have his wrist and my forearm is going across his tricep right here. You see what I'm doing? And then from here, there's a lot of things I can do. You know, over this way. Now let's do it again. Turn. Go, go on your belly. Yep. Here I am again. I'm on his wrist, like you said. Okay, now. Uh, if I come around the body to here, sometimes I can get back to that same position, you know, work my hand through. Here we are again, right here. Push his head, grab, up over. Here we are, settle back in. See? So, short answer is yes. <laughs> there it is. Right. So I, I turn it down. Okay. Okay. I get this hook. Right. I'm right here on that underhook. I come around, but Derek grabs stuff. All right. Now Steve was going thumb down. I use my little finger down. It's personal preference. And I get this good and tight. Make sure you got it tight right here. See. Now Derek, keep trying to get over. You know. Uh, but what I'm doing here, he can even use his head to try to help, you know, and, and use it. So I take my knee, I start pushing his head this way, so that he can't even post with his head when I go backwards. I grab here, I throw it back, right? I can either come around to the side, but I used to just settle in right here, see? And you got this arm in a key lock, the one I'm waving to you right there. That's the key lock, and he might get out. He's He's got to fight for a while to get that arm free. Meanwhile, the clock is ticking, and I've got a good solid hold down. Got him tied up like a Christmas package right here. See? And it's very simple. The only thing I add to this is you notice my knee was touching his head over here. When I was here, and I have this, my knee is nudging his head, nudging his head so that, you know, it's so easy to take him to his back from there. Right? Very easy. So, practice this. This is called the key lock. I go a little finger down. There are champions that go thumb down. It's personal preference. If you want the little finger down, do that. If you want the thumb down, do it that way. Either way is preferable. I tend to get it tighter with my pinky down. That's just me. What do you think, Steve? Can you show it one more time, though? Just right, because, yeah, I... Okay. I... Right? So, he rolls, right? But he's guarding this. I'm trying to get it. Can't get it. So, right away, left hand grabs the tail of the gi, or if that's not available, maybe a belt. But grab something and feed it from your left hand, in this case, left hand to my right hand. 
okay, until I got a good and tight. My right knee is pushing against his head so that he can't get his head out and use that as a, a base of support. I'm removing this base of support. Grab a knee, take it up and over, settle in to your hold right here. All right? Okay, let's work it. So here we are. I've got Derek right here. And so I'm going to some kind of throw. Let's say I, I knock him down with the Osama right here. Now, from that Osama knockdown, I can go straight into the hole, of course. But let's say he's rolling away from me. I didn't get a chance for Osakomi. He's rolling away. This is the critical moment right here. Getting this underhook. The moment I throw, he's rolling away. I'm going for this underhook. You notice my elbow is down in his back and I'm hugging this elbow into my chest. My chest limits his movement, okay? I'm using my chest like a third arm right here. From this position, I'm just going around front right here and clamping on his head, kneeling down, pulling this elbow in. He may be grabbing something. So you grab a belt or and I rip it this way first and then back the other way, okay? You all know this, right? Known as the Kimura. Okay? But <clears throat> where so many people lose it, you throw a guy, you don't get a complete score, all right? You get a partial score. He's rolling away. I, right away, I get into this underhook. Now, you could do Juji Gatami, and I see some of you heavier guys practicing Juji Gatami, but I doubt that it's what it's, uh, I doubt that's the technique you would normally gravitate to in contest. You're, you're just not built as well for it, all right? And, but this is made for all weights. The main key is not to have your elbow up because he can pull me over the top right here, okay? So let's just go the other way here. Okay, so I just threw there and right away, I get on that other hook. Elbow in his back right here. Chest limits his movement. Coming around front, rip away first. This way and then back. Okay? If you don't get anything, stay with it. Right here, just keep rotating. So you go like that. Very simple hold. But if you don't practice standing and ground together, these transitions, you may know this stuff. But whenever you throw, there's always going to be that hesitation and you're going to lose it. I mean, if you're not right on it, I mean, you might as well go get a drink of water and come back and start again, because he's gone, all right? So here we go, let's practice it very gently. You notice I'm gently rolling down. He rolls away this time. Get that underhook first thing, okay? Here we go. Go ahead.